The Quechua program has been here at the University of Pennsylvania for two years. It started uh, because some students were requesting Quechua. And now uh, Quechua is the only language from the Americas to offer at the university. I am Punchai. I am Punchai. I am Punchai. I am Kashanki. I am Kashani. Country? I'm not Kapas Ali Ami Kashani. My Manta Kanki Jordan. No Kaka Miami Manta Kani. Country? No Kaka Connecticut Manta. Ari Ari. Tupananchis Kama. Tupananchis Kama. Many languages are celebrated for their own right in terms of literature. You think of French or Latin. Um, and people say, oh, I can study that, and, and people accept that, it's normalized. But if you say, oh, I study Quechua, people ask you why. And a lot of colleges around the United States that offer it, though there are very few that offer it at all, do it so that archaeologists can go into the Andes and do research. And here at Penn, that's not the case. Um, you're learning it for the sake of being able to use it and being able to celebrate it and, and understand the culture, and I think that's really important. Speakers of Native American languages were told that their languages were not worth it, or sometimes they, they, they were even prohibited to speak their language. Many explorers used to go to South America or to the colonies to study indigenous cultures as objects. And unfortunately, this is part of our history. However, now we have the opportunity to rethink about that, to understand that what used to be seen as objects are actually subjects. Therefore, we are not only thinking about doing research in the Andes or about indigenous cultures, but also about learning from indigenous cultures and from indigenous peoples. What inspired me to take Quechua a pen was the fact that my father and my grandparents and my ancestors before them, for the most part, all spoke Quechua. I'm able to speak Spanish um, with my mother, my father, and my grandparents as well. However, I felt as though there was something missing. There was that little lost connection where I wanted to be a little more connected, and that was through Quechua. The fact that it's here in one of the most prestigious universities throughout the world gives me a little hope that Quechua will not be seen as a second-class language and hopefully it'll be looked as upon as something cultural, something beautiful, something to be proud of, something to speak, something that remains part of my identity. Noka Sutinka Jordan Lee Barna. Noka Haverford P. Yachashani. Noka Perumantakani. Anyai. Sutika Gleason, Kunatikid Mantakani. Hatun Yachaiwasi, Pennsylvania Pi, Yachani. Noka Américo Mendoza Mori, Kani. Runa Simita, Yachachini.